the bevel tool is a tool in edit mode that is just as important as the extrude tool. These two tools will carry any hard surface project. Its complexity is a step up from everything we've discussed so far, so let's hurry and get into it. I'm going to have to leave some things out since it has a lot of options and use cases. This tool is different from the bevel modifier. Select it with this icon or the B shortcut. Right click to undo, left click to confirm the action. The bevel tool is what lets you have those rounded edges, which makes models more real. Nothing in real life has sharp edges like this, so in the 3D world, we use the bevel tool. It lets you make meshes like this and like this. There's a lot of applications that it can be used for, so when in doubt, try beveling. By default, it needs edges to be selected. In some cases, you may need a singular vertice to be beveled. Start your bevel, left click, and then click the pop-up and select vertice. You can adjust the strength of your bevel by adjusting the width slider. The segment slider adds more edges to the bevel, making it smoother with the more that you add. Shape determines your bevel direction. Lower is more inwards, higher is more outwards. Sometimes, your width can cause vertices to go further than they should, sliding past your neighboring vertices. Use clamp overlap to stop the bevel from going too far. If enabling clamp overlap causes a smaller bevel than you expect, double check your topology. Profile type determines the shape of your bevel. The super ellipses is the default, which is the classic rounded bevel, but selecting custom allows you to edit this curve, which determines the shape of the bevel. You likely won't be using this option too much, but it's there if you need it. If you learned something, consider subscribing.